Tonight, Mark does Downton. Cheers. Cheers. So you're, you're an Earl? Yes. How do you get that title? Well, my father died. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's on fire! <laughs> this is me poshing it up. Mark doesn't know it yet, but he's going all the way to <laughs> Somerset, where in the wilds of the West Country, a stately world awaits with all its elocution, etiquette. Welcome to Monsell House, a 13th century mansion that's home to the seventh baronet of Monsell, Sir Benjamin Slade. I've only got 127 hats, so I've always got something for the right occasion. Aristocracy is money, power, land, regiment, university, public school. Mark's going to have his work cut out organising a party here because Sir Ben knows a thing or two about putting on a good bash. The sort of parties we have here are wonderful, elegant, glamorous people, fine music, wine, food and all the rest of it. So I'm just hoping that he's going to put on a similar sort of thing. After a 200-mile journey, Mark arrives in Somerset. Hey, Mark Hart. I'm getting picked up by a show that you can go on. It's old school, Bentley. How are you doing, Eugene? What's your name? Ashley. Ashley, nice to meet you. I'm getting in here, yeah? Yes, you're coming with me. Oh, OK. Get up here. The party in question is for Sir Ben's 20-year-old godson, Arthur. And yes, he's posh too. Mark might have preconceptions of what the aristocracy get up to, but everyone likes having a party. I'm lost for words. I honestly do not know what is going on. But if this is some sort of posh family, I know the rules are going to be to the max, which means I'm in trouble. Trouble or not, the aim of this party is to help Arthur find love. I've never had a, a girlfriend, so they're going to help, hopefully, find me a girl, someone I can laugh with, have a connection with, and go on an adventure, really. Oh, it's like Downton Abbey. <laughs> It's a monster house <laughs> with what looks like loads of servants. I'm getting red, I can't get out of the car. <laughs> I'm not used to this stuff. <laughs> ladies come to the car, ladies come to the car, ladies come to the car, ladies come to the car. Oh, how do I say hello? I'm not posh, so I'll try. Hi, how are you? Not too bad. Hello, welcome to Monsell House. Nice to meet you. Your sister Hi. Benjamin Slade. Benjamin Slade. Hi. Nice yeah. to meet you. Welcome to Monsell House. Thanks for having me. Right, now, come in. We'll show you around. First up, a quick tour of the ancestral home. Are your dog's friendly? Yeah. This is our ballroom. Who are these pictures? These are all relatives. Why are you a sir? Well, because ancestor there, um, he sucked up to the king and he was a general in the Peninsula War, so they had to give him a... they had to give him a sort of thank you very much. He knew the king? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your relatives were, like, friends of the royals and stuff? Not only that, but um, George IV, who was the Prince Regent, my great-great-grandmother. If Mark thinks Sir Ben's regal relations are a surprise, there's more to come. So, we've had a problem with ghosts before, and then we hired a ghost remover or somebody who does exorcisms. I paid 300 quid, and this lady rounded up all the ghosts. Hmm. But they're all gone. Somebody else has got the problem. I bet they're not gone. I've turned up. I don't like Essex no, no. Boys Coast. Why's the granddaughter got a boob out? Well, if you've got it, flaunt it. It's a bit like Essex, isn't it? You know, you got the money, go and buy a Ferrari. Right, this is your room if it's big enough. Um, it actually says the king's room on the door. I know. This is sick. Yeah, I'm, uh, this is definitely big enough. I'm cool with this. This is where I'm staying, yeah? Yeah. This is incredible. You should check the bed out. Mm. Yeah. That's me for the week. I'm more than happy with that. Yeah. I'm right. over the moon, in fact. Right. All right, Ben, I'm more than happy with this. Thanks very much. Dinner's in an hour. I'll send you up a couple of appropriate things. All right, I'll see you for dinner. OK. Thanks very much. Yeah.
Ben is an absolute legend. He, I honestly thought I was stepping into this posh, stuck-up, strict, elderly man. But actually, he's cool. If I see a ghost, I promise you, that's a 100% promise I'm going home. What a wuss. Now it's time to prepare for dinner. Um... I'm a bit nervous. I've never been so nervous for dinner in my life, I don't think. So Benjamin has selected an array of jackets for you to choose from for dinner tonight. Oh. <laughs> Do I have to wear it? If you'd like to. OK, is that what normally happens here? Yeah. So if I go down without a jacket on here, I think I'm rude? I'd wear it. Really? <laughs> Smell fresh. <laughs> Absolute bubble bath or what? All right, thanks. <laughs> oh, f ripped. <laughs> Wait, what want to do? That jacket's probably about three grand. On top of destroying Sir Ben's jackets, Mark's also late for dinner. Not the best start. I, I might wear the black one, so then he doesn't say, where's your jacket? Because then he might say, I'll go and put it on. Come on, I'll come and choose with you. I'm going to have to wear it. How you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? You gave it to me. <laughs> I didn't expect. Wear it. <laughs> I didn't expect you to wear it. What is that? Oh well, that's one of the old porkers that's running around the farm. We thought we'd just bring in the head, you know. We're not eating that, though, are we? Well, it's uh, it's the third course. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, your d'oeuvre, gentlemen, is smoked salmon bellini. Thank you very much. Yum yum. Before Mark can eat anything, he has a small problem. How many courses are we having? Seven. Well, Henry VIII used to have a lot more, apparently. These cigar jacket things. Somebody left me that in a will years ago. It's not of my taste. I haven't used that for years. You've got one like it on. No, this is a this is a smoking jacket. Yeah, that's, isn't this a smoking jacket? No, that's a sort of um, nightgown or something. That's why I was laughing. I had a green suede one. Yeah, that had buttons on it like yours. Mm. I, mean, I hope you don't mind. I'll I'll pay for it if I have to. But I tried to put it on, mm. and um, I put my arms in, and it went. It just ripped all down the back. Yeah, I got plenty of jackets. They just burned up up in the cupboard. Oh, okay, good. It probably smells of mothballs anyway. 